Hey guys, before this video starts, make sure to check out the all new, most reliable, cheapest, fastest, and best source for Hockey Ultimate Team Pucks and NHL 14 for both Xbox and PS3. Link will be in the description, also known as Hut Puck Store. Hey, what's happening guys? Best NHL Clips here, back with episode number 6 for our Be A GM for the Edmonton Oilers, and uh, basically, I'm gonna say last year was a success. You know, for a team I didn't think was gonna make the playoffs, we not only made the playoffs, we were a president's winner. Injuries will turn those back off until next year's playoffs. But, uh, yeah, even though we got beat out in the first round, I do think this year was a success. So, basically, we're just gonna hopefully get through all the offseason here. And, uh, what I want to talk to you guys uh, about as far as last episode goes, I know a lot of you were complaining, oh, you complain too much, all this stuff. It's an imaginary team. I know I was doing it basically for the video. I wasn't actually that mad. And I'm going to put this out there just because a lot of you think I, I'm seriously more angry than I actually am, when really I'm, I'm trying to do it to, to make the videos more entertaining. I mean, I don't want to be dull. I, won't, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, we lost. All right, yeah. Okay, nice win, guys. Uh, uh, Hall, dude, like, no, I don't, I don't want to be emotionless, right? So, like, I was trying to get the, the realistic coach vibe going on, you know, all that good stuff. But if you guys don't like it, I'm not going to do it anymore. So, I'm sorry for that, and uh, let's move on with our lives. So, to end off last, uh, the playoffs there, we lost in six games to the Winnipeg Jets. And you know what? Everly Nuge Hall, I thought they played pretty good. The, the real lack I think we had was with our goal scoring, and it came from that uh, second line and our depth. You know, we had uh, Yakupov, we had Gagne, and we had uh, Pet or not Petri, Peron there. And uh, for the three of them, they came up with three points in, uh, in six games between all three of them. And I mean, our depth just wasn't there, and we weren't scoring goals. Our goaltending was great. Brodeur, 95 save percentage. Uh, Bishop 92 almost, and uh, that's in four games, 1.58 goals against average. The goaltending was there. So you know what? If we can keep Broder for one more year, I'm going to do it just because he, he was basically our team this year. But we have a lot of signing to do here in the offseason and stuff like that, and a couple of trades. A couple of trades I want to do, but uh, we'll wrap up. I'll show you the, uh, the awards, everything like that. And we'll get into the draft. Hopefully we can get through the entire offseason here. But uh, it may be a two-parter. Who knows? Uh, it looks like Eric Johnson got injured in that last game. But that's alright. Uh, injuries are back off now. But uh, yeah, basically I just wanted to touch up on that and say uh, if you guys didn't like the, the way I was getting into it and stuff like that, I'm going to back off. I'm going to, I guess, be more... Uh, happy about everything that goes on just because you guys didn't like the real coach kind of feel so whatever it is no big deal but anyways here we go I think next year we are bound to be a playoff team regardless uh, there should be no reason why we aren't a playoff team and uh, while this simulation is going on I'm gonna cut it out and I'll meet you back when we're right up before the draft we can do the awards we can do uh, all the final stats everything like that so uh, I'll meet you there Alright boys, so here we go, the Columbus Blue Jackets, I guess must have been up against the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round, made it past them, and somehow Columbus, with their current team, won the Stanley Cup. <laughs> what? Columbus doesn't do that. Like, well, I mean, they were, they did put up a fight this year, that was awesome. I was rooting for Columbus there, second time in the playoffs, but... To, to come back and win the cup, I mean, that just shows you what the simulation can do. Especially with a team like this, and we win uh, the President's Trophy. So, we're not going to play that Prospects game, but it is time to get in and show you the stats, show you who won what trophies. Here is uh, the retirements. Uh, Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi, sorry, Chris Pronger. Um, yep, that's that for the players. And goalies, nobody. No goalies retired this year. So, we'll continue there, and, alright, Stats Central, let's show you the playoff tree. Here we go, this is what the playoff tree ended up looking like. We actually lost to the team who went all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals and lost in six games. 
But, uh, yeah, there you go. You guys can check that out real quick. Columbus beat Pittsburgh in five, beat Carolina in seven, Montreal in six, and then Winnipeg in six. So there we go. Now on to the trophies. Let's see. Let's see here. Columbus, yeah, they won there. We win the Presidents. That's a nice feeling. Uh, Winnipeg's Clarence, Prince, uh, there we go. Art Ross to Jason Spatz, like Cam Ward with the heart. Norris to uh, Enstrom. That's that's a new one. Lady Bing to Backstrom. Calder Memorial to I Am Banana, the hidden player in my GM mode. The hidden player. <laughs> I put a hidden player in this GM mode, and you guys will see later on. You'll you'll find it. It's a it's a nice little Easter egg, I guess, for a GM mode that. Uh, See, you know what? Not a lot of people do that. They just kind of do a regular GM mode. So if, wait and see. Bobrovsky with the Conn Smythe. Vesna to Cam Ward. Lundqvist with the uh, William M. Jennings. Robida with the Bill Masterson. Wouldn't that be sweet? He's on the lease now. Uh, Frank J. Selke uh, to Datsu. Cam Ward, ten, Ted Lindsay. Maurice Richard to Ovi. And there we go. So here we are. We are up at the draft. And I do want to try and get a couple more picks, but first, I, I still want to go for Tarasenko, and I know who I want to trade for. So, uh, as far as the trade block, it looks pretty good, but we are going to add one more person, and that is, where is he? Uh, Peron. There we go. Willing to trade away Peron, and uh, I, I think that's who... Everybody was saying to trade for Tarasenko, so that's what I want to do. So we'll hang up the phone there, and uh, we'll simulate up. Now, I don't plan on moving up in this draft, just because the year one is so good. But, uh, ooh, draft lottery was not nice to us. All right, we might be able to move up a little bit, though. A little bit. We got a call from Philadelphia, so let's see what this is. Yakupov and our third for their first. No, nah, thank you. No, thank you. All right, we will reject that. But they do want to give up their 12th. So you know what? Uh, 12th position would be a good spot for a player. So uh, let me just... I was wanting to move up into the top 10, but you know what? I really don't know if we need to. Um, but I was planning on trading away uh, the first, the third, and also... See, I want to do a bit of a package deal here, though. Let me find uh, St. Louis. Hopefully, they want to give away a pick. Do they? I know. They were a pretty good team, though. 15th. Oh, that would be nice. And they want to give it away. And uh, where's Tarasenko here? Uh, right wings. Tarasenko. There he is with the trade value. So, you know what I was thinking? Uh, Peron or Yakupov is gonna go, and uh, that's that's just the way it's gonna be. Now they want Yakupov and they want Peron, but Yakupov is worth more. So you know what? I I am willing to give away because they're both snipers, right? They're both snipers, and uh, you know if he's gonna be an upgrade, that's what we're looking for, right? So uh, right wing sniper, and then we'd upgrade our pick here. So those two. And uh, I'm going to have to add some more, though. If we can't move up in this draft, it's it's understandable. I mean, the the draft is pretty hard to move up on. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see who else they want. Uh, I'm not... We only got one shot at this, so we got to make sure it's good. Uh, let's go to Skaters Matching Block. All right. Who else? You know what? Larson? Pilar, oh no, I want to keep him. Uh, we could give away Jusu. Two years left. Gordon, I want to keep Kinetsov. Macarine, uh, yeah, all these. So you know what? Uh, Jusu, we can give. So there we go. Uh, who else do they want to give away? Alright, you know what? We will take that guy in return. To equal that out, and then we'll throw in a second pick for two years from now, because by that point the second picks aren't really done, are aren't really uh, worth much. So our first, the 26th pick, our third from this year, 
our our Winnipeg surge from this year. Sorry, um, our second in 2016 Yakupov and Jusu for Tarasenko and an upgrade in the first. Will it go through? Uh, no, too far off. All right, so that was my attempt there. We're still gonna go for Tarasenko, but here we go. We got Ekblad went first, Sivan Aller went second, uh, Reinhardt third, Roland McEwen uh, went fourth. Wow, he went 50th in the actual draft. And uh, all right, you know what? Here, let's see who we have left. And I am almost thinking a goalie, but. We do have Hayden Fleury here. We got Sam Bennett. That's what I mean. There's not a lot of great picks here at the end. Anthony D'Angelo, an offensive defenseman. You guys were saying I don't really have many offensive D. Um, he's not going to be NHL ready this year. Let's just see what we have for bullies. We do have a couple second round picks, remember. Uh, T Tyler Santos, eh? Uh, I, I know he gets pretty good, but... You know what? I am thinking ahead to the future, and uh, we we do need we need some forwards that we can pick up in the second round, though. And then I think we're gonna go with Anthony D'Angelo. So welcome to the team. There we go. Let's quick sim over to the next one here. And uh, you know what? We do have another call from Dallas. Eric Cole for Peron. Ah uh, no, no 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 no. No, thank you. No, no, no. All right. So we'll reject that. And you know what? I want to try and get Tarasenko before he gets his boost. So that's what I'm going to use this one for. Uh, let's go over to San Jose again. Or not San Jose, St. Louis. There we go. Pair on. Uh, let's see. Now I now I can try something that I was wanting to try before. So the trade value, value isn't all there. But... Uh, what do they have for a second round pick, too? 45th, eh? What do we have? 39, 56. So we can try and upgrade that as well. We can throw in the same second. So two seconds, pair on, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so we got to add one more pick, though. You know what? I want to keep that third. Let's try and add back in a uh, Josie. For one of their players, and if not, then I'm done with trying to trade Peron, and we're just gonna use an, uh, Yakupov, because I do know that Yakupov is gonna get the job done. I know his trade value is high enough, so it will work out. Is there anyone else I can throw in here? Uh, let's go to all skaters for a second. Oops, one too far. Okay, who else? Who else do we have? Uh, Lekkinen. We could always throw in Lekkinen. Uh, Wistran. Wistran. Is he... He was a draft pick. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's throw in Wistran. I'm willing to give Wistran up. Uh, and we'll take another player in return. And uh, if this doesn't go through, we're just going to have to use Yakupov, boys. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. So, uh, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Get the next guy with the lowest trade value. So, uh, ooh. See, it says it's going to go through, even though there's salary cap. All right, whatever. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Did it go through? St. Louis is going to decline this offer. Wistrand's uh, contract expires shortly. All right. So I think we're just going to have to use Yakupov here. And uh, here we go. I want to make, I want to draft a goalie, and then we'll draft some. No, no. You know what? No, we don't need to draft a goalie because Bishop, and then we have those other goalie prospects we did get. Well, let's just see who's left here first. And, uh, alright, so Spencer Watson. Um, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's go to projected here. Uh, Kasperi Kapanen. I have heard this guy becomes a bit of a stud. Uh, Nicholas Ehlers. I know he is really good as well. Um, so we got a playmaker, left wing playmaker. And a right wing two way forward. You know, I do like the two way forwards too. I I think yeah yeah. Well wait, wait, is there any goalies left to choose from? Not really. You know what? Let's just draft ourselves a couple of decent forwards here. And uh, let's let's choose Kapanen. I know I've heard good things about him. Let's get the fantastic Finn. Kapanen, welcome to our team. 
And uh, we got a couple more picks here. Another second and a third. And Adam Kemp, I see the name. All right, there we go. We see Adam Kemp. Ehlers got taken. Julius Honka, though. Another fantastic, fantastic fan. You know what? He's projected to go in the third round. We may be able to snag him. I know Adam Kemp is good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam Kemp, another forward, a power forward. Oh, do we want a power forward or do we want something else? We drafted a playmaker. We drafted a sniper. Yeah, let's let's grab a power forward. Let's do it. See what he turns into. And now, let's. I want to trade Dallas. I want to try and get Julius Honka here. So, here we go. Uh, that is the last trade I'm going to try and make, and then it's just going to be straight up for Tarasenko. Okay, where'd the draft picks go? There we go. So, uh, there we go. want that. And I, we will give away. Who will we give away to get this pick? Ooh, they want a lot of those prospects, eh? Uh, Garnett, what's he like? Garnett, uh... I kind of like him. I'm going to keep him. Uh, Gordon Arcabello and Wistrand. You know what? Gurnett is actually, I think, the is what's going to go. Uh, you know what? We might not even. Oh, they don't. In order to make this go through, I'm going to have to, actually. I'm going to have to give away the third and Gurnett in order to upgrade our third. So. Uh, let's go to all skaters here. Let's grab somebody with no trade value. There we go. So Gurnett and our third for their third and oh, I almost feel like we could we could get like you know a fifth, sixth, and a seventh. Just give those away, and we can have two thirds here. But you know what? No, no, no. let's not even try it. Gurnett, our third for uh, this prospect here, and upgrade to a new higher third. There we go. Dallas Stars like that offer, and Julius Honka, get on our team. He is, uh, he is sweet. I've heard nothing but good things. The fantastic Finn, offensive defenseman, Julius Honka. There we go, and we can just quick sim the rest of this draft. So hopefully our draft picks turn out to be quite nice. I uh, pretty pumped for that. Uh, let me just check something here. All right. This one may be a two-parter, depending. Um, I'm going to go through the re-signing phase and then free agency. I may just ask you guys what we should do uh, as far as signing free agents. Hopefully, we'll have enough free cap space. I know uh, Taves or Kane always kind of pops up in one of these years. But uh, let's see. Anybody get a jump just yet? Nuge, 89. Johnson, 89. Look at that. Oh. Johnson peaked at the right time. Everly's 86 still. Petri up to an 85. Schultz, Ference, uh, Yakupov 84. Knetsov. All right. So yep. Yeah, what we're gonna be doing now is I think we're just gonna we're gonna see where uh, Tarasenko goes. But in the off season, Tarasenko for Yakupov. Uh, comment down below if you think that's the trade we should do. Uh, I definitely think it's worth it. Peron just isn't enough. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's start releasing some uh, people who we know we're not going to need. Like this guy here. Anybody with like no potential left who's just going to drop to nothing, we need to get rid of. So there we go. Petri, how much he's going to want a big boy contract. I know it. Yeah. All right. So we'll leave him for a second. Um. Yeah, yeah. We can release all these guys. We're going to do a big signing in free agency here. So uh, release Andy Miller. All these guys with no potential. I don't want them. Uh, Kelly. There we go. Uh, who else? Moten. Get off our team. This is just freeing up space for all those players that are actually going to do something for us. All right. Ah, getting through it. There's always a lot of players in the first year. Gustafsson. Get off. All right. So uh, one more. Any more down here? Nope. All right. Julius Honka, four and a half red star potential for a third round pick. That is friggin' amazing. I will take that any day of the week. Greg Chase. Uh-oh. Our two-way forward. Wow, that was a bust. 
but Honka was not. So uh, let's check out the goalies here. Brodeur might want a big boy contract, but see, this is why I didn't draft any prospect goalies because look it, look what we got already. Perfect. We already have so many goalies with potential, and we're gonna be picking up more. Uh, so let's uh, sign our goalies here. There we are. Three years with McMullen. Uh, unrestricted free agent. Yeah, we can get him to a three-year deal as well. All right. Uh, Broder. Let's see what Broder wants. Uh, he still has three and a half potential. I only want him for one year, though. Yeah, he wants to be signed until he's 45. Who do you think you are? Um, so we'll leave Broder for now. Because I do want Bishop to be a starter. But, uh, all right. Let's see if we can get Larson on a two-way deal. Uh, no, he refuses. Oh, wait, we might be able to. There we go. Hopefully that works. We're overpaying him a little bit than he's asking for, so it might. Horak. Uh, Horak wants a two-way deal. Oh, and he's going to get a jump soon, too. All right, perfect. Horak to a two-way deal. Lander will sign just because he has that green star potential. There we are. Um, going down the list here, Radula. We'll give him one just because he has three and a half. So there we are. Even if he doesn't get better, he'll be depth. Um, all right, Wickstrand. Hopefully this guy. Oh, he doesn't look like he's turning into anything. Uh oh. I hope he does. Otherwise, we can just trade him away in the trade to get Tarasenko. So uh, let's sign him for three years. And uh, now he's a trading asset. Johnson. Andreas Johnson. Uh, we'll get him. There we go. Our prospect pool is just huge. So D'Angelo, that's a pretty good... That is the same potential that Roland McEwen gets in this game. And I'll, I'll show you some of the, the players who got drafted here in a minute. That is the same potential, though. So, uh, yeah, we'll sign you. Uh, Chase. Now, Chase is... Whoa, wait, one second. Chase is the one we picked up in the second round, is he not? No. No, he isn't. We got him in the seventh round. Oh, all right, never mind. The three and a half red star for the seventh round? I will take that any day of the week, boys. That is actually a decent cap in it. There, the fantastic Finn. That's who we got in the second round. So, you know what? I'm really happy with all our picks, considering where we were. Adrian Kemp. Where did we get him? Where did this guy come from, eh? Sweden. Uh, okay. He was second round as well. Then Kapanen. Where was Kapanen? He was a third round pick. No, no. We had two second round picks. That's right. I, I'm messing with my own head. So there we go. And Honka. Honka is a beast. So we got Honka. And there we go. Let's see who all decided they were going to sign with us. And uh, then we just have to worry about the big boy contracts. And uh, is it worth signing Brodeur? I think it is just for one year. Oh, but should we let him go to free agency and decide that? Okay, so Larson doesn't want a one-way deal. Uh, and everybody else is a go. So Larson, we're going to have to give the two-way deal. But you know what? I only want to sign him for one year just to save on cap space. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's narrow that down. There we go. Save a bit on cap space there. And Petri, Petri, whatever your name is. Um, how many years? Let's go three years on Petri, and we'll drop that down to uh, 4.1. I think we can get 4.1 for three years. He should take that. Uh, everybody else signed, and as far as goalies, we just got Broder to worry about. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Uh, just so we have the cap space going into free agency. There we go. They both signed. I'm going to release Broder from now. And if we have to overpay for him for one year in free agency, we will do it. So otherwise, other than that, you know what? We have 8.7. I want to have this money to be able to sign a stud if there is one in free agents. But there we go. So uh, if you guys want to look at draft picks for uh, the other teams... Uh, I know Dallas was up there, so let's get over to Dallas. Dallas had a high pick. 
and uh, let's get the potential going. So there we go. There's Dickinson. Uh, who else? Columbus won the cup, but they still got Moultrie. Um, who else is in here? You know what? I can just go to potential afterwards on uh, the trade block, and you guys can see who all went. So there we go. Now this is where I think I'm gonna end the video. We can check out the potential of uh, the free agents, and that way we can see where the good free agents went to this year, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll check out free agency, see who's in free agency, and uh, as of right now, I'm thinking, let me just go over and see what we need, but uh, trade block, here, this is where I was going to do it. Uh, so let's clear this one, and forwards with that much potential and the age of 17 to 19 will do. There we are. Let's see, search list, where'd they go? All right, so, um, you know what? Let's do 17 to 18. There we go. So, we got, uh, Bailey went to Florida. Uh, Mistel went to Nashville. Richie went to Vancouver. DeCall went to New York Rangers. Uh, Vertinen went to Philly. Uh, L.A. got dry style. Uh, Nylander went to Boston. Bennett to Dallas. Hosang to Columbus. There we go. And now we will go to defense. Oh, sorry about that. Ekblad went to Phoenix. Seibenhaller. What is what is his stars? Four green stars. There we go. He went to uh, Dallas. Uh, Roland McEwen. What is he? Four green stars as well. He went to Buffalo. Anaheim. Uh, and there we go. You guys can see that there. Well, wait, what did Flurry do? Because I know we had the option of getting Flurry. Ah, he was the same as the player we got, actually. Julius Honka. Look at this. Look at that. What a stud. What a stud. He makes it up there and he's a third round pick. All right. And then uh, goalies. Also, you can see any good goalies who were drafted uh, uh, this year. This year. We'll check that out real quick. And then I'll show you free agency and we can get on with our lives. So, oops, keep clicking the wrong thing. There we go. We got Edmonds went to uh, went to uh, Toronto there for Green Star. Fucali, uh, Santos. Now, Santos is somebody I want to watch out for. He gets really good, I think. Uh, Dimitri Seven. Uh, there we go. There's the goalies. And now... Let's exit the trade block. I will show you basically what we have. So uh, let me go to uh, contracts. And uh, okay, so centers. Right now we have Nuge, Gagne, Gordon, and Arcabello. Um, Arcabello, see, so we're looking for one center. Uh, we do have Hendricks. He's dropped big time. But the only thing I like about Hendricks is at a must. He has an 85 face-off, so I mean he's good for the fourth line. But we got Gordon, Gagne, and Nuge, so we need one center. Uh, and then we got Perron and Hall, all right, and uh, Josian if we absolutely have no depth. And then uh, we got Knetsav, uh Yakupov, and Eberle. And then as far as defense goes, we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So I mean. You know, defense is looking good. We could use two defense, and we could use some depth on forwards. So, here we go. Let me show you who's in free agents, and then we can do free agents uh, next. But, all right, so our top players in here are Ian White, Barrett Jackman, Glenn Cross, Stefniak, Heatley Orpik, Zuccarello. Um, yeah, basically, Brent, or er, Gawk, I know... He would be a sweet fourth line center as well. Like, just with his defensive category, I'd love to get uh, Gawk. Um, yeah, there we go. As far as potential goes, let's get up here. Uh, Ekholm, we could sign Matthias Ekholm. Uh, anybody who wants a minor deal. So, I mean, all these guys. All these guys we could go for. Uh, we do have the cap space. And as far as goalies... This is where we decide. Do we want to bring back... Oh, one second. 
Do we want to bring back Brodeur for one more year? Do we want to sign Nicholas Backstrom to a one-year contract? Or do we just want to go for one of these backup goalies? Uh, that's up to you, boys. I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below what you guys think we should do. But uh, other than that, there's our team. Hopefully we can get through free agency and uh, start some simulation next episode. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day, you sexy studs.